Crepes are a fantastic carrier of flavours, whether it's sweet or savoury. There are so many different options to do. So I'm going to share with you my crepe recipe and I'm going to stuff it with lots of chalky and hazelnut spread and banana, a fantastic combination. Now, in a bowl, we need one cup of plain flour. So I've just got a half a cup measurement here. So two scoops. I'm going to make a well in the centre. So spread all that out. And we need two eggs. One and two. So we're just breaking up those eggs there and scrambling it slightly. I'll also add a pinch of salt and then we can start adding the milk and a pinch of sugar. Now, if I was making this into a savoury crepe, I would leave the sugar out, but I like a little bit in there because these ones are sweet. So for the milk, we need 320 millilitres of milk. So slowly, slowly, we're going to add the milk, gathering in the sides, as you can see here. See how I'm just slowly and gently mixing it in? You don't want to go too fast because you're going to get some lumps. So bringing in the sides and a little bit more. Now that's looking good. In actual fact, I'm going to add the rest of that milk and this is going to thicken up in the fridge. So with some cling wrap, I'll just grab a big piece there. See how I'm just lowering in the cling wrap there and this will ensure that no crust will form on our batter. Now I'll rest it in the fridge to chill just to relax the gluten and then we can start making our delicious crepes. This batter has rested, the cling wrap has done its job and we can start making our crepes. Now I've got a crepe pan here, it's the best way to do it because a crepe pan has a thin lip around here. This is non-stick but I like the flavour of the butter and the golden colour. We're going to heat it to medium heat and then with a ladle full and then just move it around, swirl it until you've got a really thin crepe and all of that wet mixture has set which it's just about to do. Now turn the heat up a little bit more and you'll see some of the steam come off that. Once it's completely set on the top there then it's time to turn. You can see as soon as it starts to detach that is just perfect. It's time to flip. Three, two, one. There you go. It's going to be a good year, I think. <laughs> so now we need to cook that for a further one to two minutes or until it's golden brown. I'll take it out and I'll make a few more before we start to fill them. Now a good indication that your crepes are just perfect is the sides. If they're thin, just like this one, and crispy along the sides here, it means it's just perfect. I like that crunchiness to it. Now I'm going to flip it over. We're going to add some of this chocolate and nut spread. You can actually make that yourself or you could use the store-bought one, use a good quality one. And we're just going to spread it out. I like a lot, so I'm going to put a nice blanket of that over. And then I've just got some hazelnuts here that I've toasted and crushed. I'm going to add them on top for some crunch. And a ripe banana. I'm going to just cut the top of it and we'll just take the skin off. And then I just place the banana, just straighten it out a little bit. And then we roll it up like we were rolling up sushi. Now if you wanted to warm up that chocolate, you could place it back on the warm heat here and just warm it up before serving it. Or if you're very impatient, just like I am, just dig in straight away. I'll get a knife. I like to cut it on an angle and have a look inside. That is just so yummy. Banana, chocolate, hazelnuts. That is a winning recipe for perfect sweet crepes.